Doom Cha Cha in this bitch. You're watching the Jocelyn's Cabaret New York After Show only on Damien After Dark. I'm so excited to have you guys here. Happy Labor Day weekend. I hope everything is going great for you all. If you're new here and you have not subscribed to the channel yet, go ahead and get subscribed by clicking that subscribe button right down there below this video. You'll see the button. Click it to get locked in to all things Damien After Dark. Also, make sure you turn on your post notifications so it comes right to your phone whenever I upload a video, okay? Next, I would love if you guys support the channel. It's easy to do and it's free. All you've got to do is click that thumbs up button. It's also right down there below the video. Clicking that thumbs up button is your way of supporting the channel and I appreciate it so, so much. Now, if you want to take it a step further and you want to be generous, I will also put in the description box below this video ways that you can donate to the channel, okay? You can do, you can do that. Also, my Amazon wish list is there as well. Only for those that are feeling generous, right? You don't have to do it. I hope nobody ever feels like, well, I hope, you know, I hope y'all aren't ever like feel pressure or obligated because that's not what this is about. Okay. I do this because it's fun. Only if you guys want to. Um, last but not least, join the conversation. I would love to hear from you on what you thought of this episode of Jocelyn's Cabaret in New York. It was a good one. It was a really good one. I enjoyed this episode. Did you guys... How are you guys uh, weekend going, first of all? And I have some news, so, oops, go back. Before we get into the video, I wanted to announce something um, that I said I was gonna do before that I haven't done, but I promise I'm gonna do it. So starting with Baddies East, I said I was gonna do this with Baddies South and Baddies West, and I never did. Starting with Baddies East, episode one, I'm going to try my hardest to do the entire season live, okay? Do the after show live with you guys. That way, if you want to join, you can. We can interact. We can talk about it. And you guys can get the after show right after the episode airs, right? You'll be able to watch the after show right after the episode airs. It's easier for me, too, because it uploads right away. I don't have to wait for it to upload like I do now when I record them myself. It's just hard letting go. It's hard thinking about doing it live because I have control when I'm filming like this and I can go back and edit, you know, which doesn't happen much. I don't have to edit these videos much, but um, if you guys are interested in the live after shows, comment below and let me know if you want that. Because if y'all really want it, I will do it. Okay. Now, speaking of doom cha cha in this bitch, doom cha cha in this bitch. Okay. Um, I wanted to start the after show off a little bit lighthearted because you all know our shows are anything but lighthearted sometimes. Zeus is anything but lighthearted. Uh, I wanted to show you guys this video. It's very quick and it's of Jocelyn and Bonnie Bella and they're doing the Doom Cha Cha choreography. And I'm actually very surprised because number one, the little girl is so freaking cute. Little Bonnie Bella, she is so adorable. And number two, um, she can do this choreography better than some of the girls on the show. I'm like, damn, not Bonnie Bella up here tearing the girls up. Uh, let's start the after show by checking that video out. Let's play it now. so cute i was like i wanted to share it with y'all um okay now this episode let's get right into it this episode starts you know the few selected girls that jocelyn chose to go to miami with her to perform i wish they would hurry up and get there i feel like they've been preparing for this performance since the first episode and it's like damn we're in episode what six or seven now and y'all still ain't got to miami yet can we get there already anyway the girls are going to be headed out they're going to get on a private jet 
Um, they're going to go to Miami. Jocelyn's in her hotel. She's talking to Ballistic. She's talking about the girls while she's getting her hair done. And Jocelyn talks about how Miss Natural is toxic as fuck, which I agree. You know, I used to be a Miss Natural fan, but she's very toxic this season from what I can see. Um, and we're going to get more into that later in this episode here. Now, Ballistic says, you know, well, Miss Natural's a Scorpio like you. And Jocelyn says, well, am I toxic? And <laughs> you really got to ask that, Jocelyn? Of course you are. Of course you're fucking toxic, girl. He tells her that she can be. Ballistic says, you know, you can be toxic. And she says, when? When things don't go your way? And he says, no, when things don't go your way. Which is the truth. I mean, come on now. No, like seriously. When you cuss people out for nothing, when you dog people out and make them feel this fucking big, when you assault people, when you verbally and mentally abuse people, is that not toxic, Jocelyn? But, you know, she don't see that. She don't see nothing wrong with her behavior. I mean, shall I keep going? I can go on and on about that. But, um, and you know what I really think? Joss, I don't, I like ballistic. Well, I say I like him, but then he's done some things in the past, like putting his hands on women and things like that. I think it's when he gets coked out, allegedly. But I just, like, I don't not like the guy i just don't think he's the right guy for jocelyn they they the chemistry is undeniable they both seem in love with one another but she needs somebody that's going to be able to put her in check and she runs all over him we've seen it she needs a man that's going to be able to put her in check i don't know if it's ballistic now t love is outside and she's talking to egypt about her fight that she had with wet wet and t love's like you know I was trying to have this one-on-one -on -one with Wet Wet. I was just trying to, you know, apologize and get to know her and have this one-on-one. -on -one. Referring to when the fight happened between her and Wet Wet downstairs and Wet Wet Chun lead that whole, you know, she swirled around the pole. But it's like, D-Love, stop right there. Stop right there. Quit capping, quit backpedaling, and quit pussy popping because you know what you're doing, you know what your agenda is, you know what your motive has been since you got the phone call to be on this show. You know, like, stop playing. You had no intentions of having a one-on-one -on -one and apologizing and trying to get on the right page with Wet Wet. Like, you were cozied up, trying to be fake because the cameras weren't on you in that moment. Let's call it what it is. So you had no need to turn into character and start reading your script. Like, I mean, we can see it for what it is, T-Love. We see it for what it is. You you can't sit with us. You can't sit with us, T-Love, because you fake and phony as fuck. Now, here's the thing. If you want to come sit with us, you're going to have to redeem yourself in some kind of way. And I don't know, you know, we'll have to, I don't know. Because here's the thing. Y'all know how it goes. We watch these shows. We hate a character the first few episodes. We end up loving them by the end of the season. So we're going to try to give you a chance, T-Love. We done gave Scotty 1,700 chances, and we still cool with Scotty in a way. But this fake phony shit that T-Love does to where when the camera's in her face, she wants to demean you, she wants to tear you down, she wants a moment. But once the cameras are paying somewhere else, you over here trying to be buddy-buddy in my face, let's be friends. No, it don't work like that. Now, the next scene we see, we got T-Love outside and Egypt and precious i forget the other girl's name is the other girl's name diamond the one that's like from the bronx who talks like this you know real she's like a real stout girl but she's beautiful um she's lesbian as well i can't think of her name but it's her t love egypt and precious they're all outside by the pool you know talking about egypt and daisy's fight that they had right and i noticed something as i was watching this scene like all those girls sitting there, besides maybe T-Love, are lesbians. Just an interesting observation. We have a very LGBT cast this season, and I'm loving it. Like, most of these girls are lesbians. We got a trans girl in the house. I'm here for it. Because, if listen, I talk a lot of trash about Zeus Network. But it's one thing I have to give them their props on is they represent the community, okay? They're going to represent the black and the gay community all the time. 
on every show that they got damn near. And I, I respect it. Because, listen, these other networks ain't doing it. VH1, MTV, Bravo, E, all them, they ain't doing it. And when they do do it, they do it because it's cool or trendy in that moment. Or they may give us one gay character per show that's like the, you know, stereotypical best friend or some shit like that. Uh, now, one of the girls asked... Egypt about her hair and losing her hair and why she shave all her head off. Same reason Jocelyn, you know, same thing Jocelyn said. Why'd you shave all your head off? Why'd you shave all your head, head off and hair off? And Egypt has to explain to them that, you know, she has alopecia. And I guess most people don't know how alopecia works, but here's the thing. I don't have alopecia, never had alopecia, don't know anybody with alopecia, knock on wood. But it's like, you don't have to really have firsthand experience with things to have knowledge or education about those things. Like, do y'all not, not know that with alopecia, it's not like all your hair just falls out. It's patches of your hair. So, Egypt is having to educate these girls on that, again, because everybody wants to know about her hair. Everybody wants to know about her hair. Here's my thing. If, I'm, if I was around this girl or I met somebody that was bald like that it was a female i'm not gonna ask i'm just gonna assume that that's how they want to wear their hair that's their chosen hairstyle i mean this not act like that it's taboo for women to rock a bald look this i feel like it's common is that just me i feel like it's common in our society in our world for women to rock short bald looks you know whether you have you know and, and whether you've got a condition or not whether it's cancer, whether it's alopecia, whether, you know, you don't, I think, does, does that happen with lupus? I don't know. Um, but y'all get where I'm coming from. Excuse me. Now, as Egypt is sitting here having this serious conversation, her go precious out of nowhere, getting butt ass naked. And I'm like, did as I was watching, I'm like, did I miss something? My hand's itching. I don't know why. Hopefully that's a good sign that money's coming my way. But I think it's just a fucking pesky ass mosquito bite. Um But I'm like, I'm watching the show. I'm like, did I miss something? Why is old girl getting naked out of nowhere? And I mean precious precious looks like a little ventriloquist doll. You know what I'm saying? Like she's a pretty girl, but that ass. That ass was like, whoo, huge. And she got this tiny, tiny, tiny waist, these little legs, these little arms. But then you got these huge tits and this huge ass. Like, wow. Wow. <laughs> now, Egypt wants to get naked with her. They want to take pictures out by this pool and whatnot. Um... And if, if there's any girls out there who want to get a BBL, please reconsider, y'all. I'm here for anybody who wants to get surgery to make themselves feel better. You know, new boobs, tummy tuck, new teeth, whatever. But these BBLs, if you're going to get a BBL, don't go so big. Y'all know what I mean? Do y'all think these BBLs look good? I think they look good on some girls, depending if, like, they don't go so big or their thighs match. You know, maybe they already have some curves. And the thighs match it. You know, I'm, I can't, I'm, I'm, it's not my business. Women do what y'all want with your body. I just, I just can't, I want somebody to help me understand it. I guess the only way I can understand it is what? My, my own damn business. I guess I could do that. Um, now, Danny, Andrea, Yummy, and Natural, they all head to the airport. They're about to get on this private jet. They're about to fly to Miami. Um, so Jocelyn can assault people. I mean, perform. Um, now, listen. Zeus is making some money because the way they be putting these people on pri on, on private jets, like 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 they putting you on a spirit flight. Zeus will put you on a private jet like they throwing you on a spirit flight. Like that's how easy it is for them. That subscription money is running in like this. Uh, because. Private jets are not cheap. They'd be like twenty, thirty, forty thousand dollars a flight like a flight. That is not cheap. Not I don't think per person, just but still thirty thirty four thirty forty thousand dollars for a group of people 
get on a private jet. That ain't cheap. I don't know. We got anybody out there that's been on a private jet. Anybody watching? I ain't had the luxury of doing it yet. Yet. We gonna do it, though. We gonna do it one day. Um, if you've been on a private jet, let me know in the comments. And what did you pay? What did y'all pay? Now. Here go natural. Natural mad face ass. Natural mad red face ass looking over at Andrea, looking over at um Danny and um She says, "If I'm gonna be honest, I'm the only one that's got this shit," referring to the choreography. And she says, "I feel like I got demoted because of the fact that Danny got the presidential suite, which I don't know. Did we miss that? Did I miss that? Did y'all did y'all see Danny get the presidential suite? I sort of feel like we missed some missed something, or maybe I just missed it watching the episode last week or the week before, or whenever the girls moved into the house. I guess when the girls moved in the house, Danny got the presidential suite, or maybe Jocelyn gave it to her whenever she chose those four girls to dance with her. I'm not sure, but for whatever reason, Natural feels like she's been demoted. But my thing is, Natural, you were never promoted. You know what I'm saying? You're here with the rest of the girls competing just like they are. Nobody ever made you the bottom bitch. Nobody ever made you the cabaret captain. You didn't come back to, to train the girls. Like So I'm confused to why you're talking about you got demoted. I, I, I'm not understanding. You, you need to demote your ego, natural, because you're walking around this bitch like it's natural's cabaret, and it's not. Like, I don't get it. What's wrong with natural? I sense that something is going on with her outside of the show, outside of the house. Maybe she had problems with a man. You know, maybe she's dealing with, she, Ill, you know, couldn't find nobody to watch her kid. I don't know. Something's going on with natural because this is not the natural that we watched prior seasons you know what i'm saying like she's coming off as a big bully and it's not cute fix that face mama fix that face it ain't cute um like at this point like I, at this point i'm like are are you jocelyn is natural jocelyn at this point that's how that's how she's acting i was waiting for jocelyn to check her I was waiting for Jocelyn to say, natural, shut the fuck up. I'm back here trying to rest. Um, I mean, and then it gets worse. Like, who is this girl? Because listen, we know natural tells Andrea, you know, how old are you? And Andrea tells her and she's like, grow the fuck up. I see why they call you a kiss ass. You're getting on my nerves. You have talent and you're pretty, but you're dumb as fuck. Like, okay, well, thanks. Gee, fucking thanks. I got talent and I'm pretty, but I'm dumb as fuck. I'm scum. I'm the bottom of the bed. Like, who gives a compliment wrapped up in insults? Really? And then you got the choreographer over here <laughs> snickering, stirring the pot. I felt bad for Andrea in that moment. Like, first of all, this is, their, this is most of these girls' first time on a private jet. And you got natural ruining it with her sour ass attitude. Girl, you should have left that shit in New York. Now Andrea's crying. Her feelings are hurt. And I'm like, Andrea, I understand, baby girl. It's you. I don't know. I just feel like I feel this sense of like wanting to protect Andrea because I feel like the girls bully her or they pick on her. And when she snaps, when Andrea snaps on their ass, or when they put the voodoo on you bitches, then it's going to be a problem. Then she's going to be the crazy one. Because Andrea don't bother nobody. You know what I'm saying? Now they got her over here crying in her feelings. She's talking about, you know, my friends say that I'm timid. I don't want to be timid. And it's just like, Andrea, baby girl, you continue to be you, okay? Continue to be you. Don't try to be like none of these other loudmouth girls because you shine as yourself. We fell in love with you as yourself when you came in there with the voodoo doll. Now, granted, I did think you was trying to take a page out of Miss Judy J's book 
from from Bad Girls Club, but I like Andrea. I really do. I feel like she's got a um, pure personality. You know, it's a pure and sweet soul. I don't feel like she's really got cruel intentions. And you know what? I know Andrea. You ain't Andrea. Probably ain't watching this, but I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna talk to the camera like I'm talking to her. Um, continue to be you, Andrea. Because guess what? People tell me I'm timid. They don't know us. They don't know us. They see you know, a piece of us, a piece of who we are. Because my thing is, when people tell me that, I'm like, okay, I can show you Timmy, baby. Don't get laid back, chill, cool, relaxed personality as Timmy. Because let me tell you something, them Timmy motherfuckers, I'll be the first one to snatch your ass up. All right, y'all fucking with Andrea, and I'm telling you, I'm telling y'all, Andrea was the one to watch. She's the one that would fuck these girls up would stomp a mud hole in them, okay? Mm. Now, while the other girls are gone to Miami, the rest of the girls are back home in the in the house, down in the basement, performing. Um, well, not performing, rehearsing. Rehearsing, and you know, watching them do this dance, as I told y'all last season, or last week, I've already somewhat learned it. You at home should have learned it. This dance is very simple. I could be in the cabaret. Could you? Hell, you could be in the cabaret at home. I mean, seriously. Uh, this is like basic dancing 101. So I'm confused as to why some of these girls have a hard time getting this dance down. It's very simple. One, two step. Very simple. Eight count. Um, I would be eating this dance. I would be eating, I would be mopping these girls up off the floor if I was one of them. How are y'all not doing? It's so simple, right? I'd be doom cha cha in this bitch, doom cha cha in this bitch, doom cha cha in this bitch, doom cha cha in this bitch. Oh, see, I already got. Now I'm just gonna get down on my, get down on my knees and pop it, uh, pop it. Hey, um, I'm gonna doom cha cha in this bitch all over the place. Now while on the private jet, back on the private jet. Yummy and natural get into a little tift. Because, you know, the girls are laughing. They're having a good time. And natural says, you're too loud. Or more like, you're too loud. Just like that. And yummy's like, I don't care. And <laughs> I'm not team yummy. I'm really not. But natural is really getting on my motherfucking nerves. Because here she go again. Like, you're a hypocrite, natural. How are you going to tell her she too loud when you're the one yelling at her? You're too loud. You were the one who was loud in the previous scene. Over here talking about you're dumb as fuck yelling at this girl. Who's the one that's really too loud? It's just like last week when you were mad because Wet Wet and T-Love were fighting. Talking about we don't need to be fighting. We need to be rehearsing. But in the previous episode, you were holding up rehearsals because you were fighting Yummy. I don't like a hypocritical ass bitch. And that's what natural's giving me. That's what it's giving me. Is a hypocritical ass bitch. And the, I want to tell you what the issue is. The issue is she mad about something else. And she taking it out on everybody else. I don't know what girl in that house don't want her. I don't know what female in that house is not paying natural no mind. So she mad as fuck. It might be Jocelyn hell. She might be mad because Jocelyn don't want to lick her twat. But here's the thing. Don't take it out on me. The fuck? I'm just here to try to to try to make some money for myself, right? And then she's talking about, you're being loud as hell. You're being loud as hell. Don't wake Jocelyn up. And like she's literally screaming at Yummy about being loud. Yet she's being loud. And I'm sorry, but am I crazy or was natural not the loud mouth went on the jet? Even Yummy was like, but you're the one being loud right now. And What's the what's the the extra's name? I call her an extra because she she just a bobblehead, the girl that's with them that's just agreeing. She agrees with Natural and Jocelyn on anything they say, just bobbing her head. Um, it's it's not Slim. What's her name? Hold on. Shit, I got it somewhere in here. Danny, that's her name. Danny, like Danny girl by. Because any, if y'all notice, anything natural says, Danny will agree with. Like, you are being loud. You are being loud, um, 
yummy. Like, no, she was not. Why can't you just stand up for what's right, Danny? But you want to be in the in crowd so bad that you bobbing your head to anything. Yes, you're a yes man. A yes man. That's exactly what you are. Because, I mean, I don't care what nobody says. Natural was the one being the aggressor on that flight. Even the choreographer is telling her to shut up at one point and trying to, you know, calm her down. And Natural's gaslighting the situation. She really is. Now, Jocelyn calls her to the back of the plane. She calls Natural to the back of the plane. And even Jocelyn don't want to hear it. Natural's trying to explain what happened. And, you know, Jocelyn says, you know, yes, Yummy was a little bit loud. But I just need you to be happy the rest of the trip. Because you, you can feel the energy. You ain't even got to be sitting next to Natural. You can be in the back of the plane. You can feel the energy because she's just so negative, bitter, Betty, negative Nancy. Like, girl, get some dick. Get some pussy. Get some something. You're on a fucking TV show. You're making great money. You're traveling to Miami. You're on a fucking private jet. What the fuck are you complaining about? I mean, God damn. Can a bitch be happy for a minute? And hell, Jocelyn looked like she was high and then smoked a blunt. She wouldn't feel it. She's like, I don't care what you're talking about right now. Just go up there and be happy. Go up there and be happy. She in her own zone. She in her own zone. That The Jocelyn that I saw on the plane interacting with Natural, I wish we could see more of when she's normal, you know? Now back home, back in New York at the house, the other girls are playing games. They're playing games. Oh, shit. They're playing games. And um, Lucky's impersonation of Jocelyn was spot on. I loved it. It was, it was, it was hilarious. If you try me, 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 I'm going to dust you. Loved it, loved it, loved it. Um, And I'm glad Lucky's back. I love Lucky. I don't know why I really like Lucky. She's just so fucking pretty to look at. Um, What did y'all think about that? I can never think of her name. I don't know if her name's Diamond or not. The girl that's got the the, the Bronx uh, 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 accent, the talk like this right here, um... Uh, I mentioned to y'all earlier, she's kind of stout, very pretty girl. If y'all know her name, put it in the comments, because I, I was rewinding it, and I couldn't, they wouldn't put her name up during her confessional, so I couldn't get her name. Um, she said, what do y'all think about her saying every, she said every girl desires to have a dick in their mouth and in their coochie at the same time. What y'all think about what she said? Ladies. Ladies, leave your man at home. The club is full of ballers and they pockets full grown. Ladies, where you at? Uh, ain't, fellas too, shit. We ain't got to limit it to the ladies because, listen. <laughs> uh, 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 me, my, 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 my boys out there. Do you desire a dick in the booty and a dick in the mouth at the same time? Okay. Ladies, do you desire a dick in the coochie or the booty, whichever you prefer, in the mouth at the same time? Girl is saying all everybody desires that. I can't speak for a woman, but I mean, I kind of believe it. As a man, do I desire it? I mean, I don't want it. I don't say I go out here and do it, but I'm like, yeah, I could fantasize about that, right? I mean, this is Damien After Dark. So if you got kids in the room, please get them to bed. Um, but yeah, right? I mean, that does sound raunchy. But, hey, it's hot. At least she's being honest. She's being real. I'm being honest. I'm being real. Y'all be honest and real with me. Is that something y'all fantasize about? Or you or you, you could mentally see yourself doing shit? I do it in, 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 in real life too, hell. Who am I kidding? And then not Wet Wet up here. Wet Wet, when they were playing Two Truths and a Lie, she up here talking about how she got pregnant and didn't know who the, the daddy was. Girl, I would have took that to my grave. I would have took that to my grave. Now these girls got something that they can use against you, you wet wet. And then she says she never got a DNA test because the baby came out looking like one of the dudes and she knew that that was the father. Girl, you already dug one hole, now you digging another one. Why, wet wet, why, why are you even telling us that? 
And that's like one of the girls said, I wouldn't have even told the dudes. I would have never let, because she probably, she told the baby daddies. I would have never even told them. I would have said, this is your baby. It will just like him. He don't never know no difference. Now, next week's episode looks interesting. We learned that one of the girls on the cast hit somebody with their car, one, not, not while filming, but hit someone in their car and killed someone once. Which I'm sure was an accident, unless they did jail time. I don't know. I'm curious to see. We'll have to watch next week to see what happens. Um, we also see that Daisy returns. And also, next week, Big Lex has the girls shook when she spotted front row at the Floyd Mayweather fight and performance. And things go crazy, okay? It's just getting started on the Jocelyn's Cabaret New York after show. Things are heating up. You don't want to miss it each and every Sunday night, so make sure you're here. Make sure you are locked in and subscribed to the channel. All you got to do is click that subscribe button right in there below that video, okay? Um, also, make sure you support the channel. It's so easy to do. Click that thumbs up button. Click that like button um, and like the channel. You can also donate if you want, okay? Liking the channel is free. That's your free way of supporting, but if you want to take it a step further, you can donate uh, in the description box below is ways that you can donate using PayPal, Cash App, Venmo, and Zelle. I want to say thank you to um, Felicia Buchanan, who just sent in a Cash App a little bit ago. Thank you so much, Felicia, for donating. It means the world to me from the bottom of my heart. I love you guys so much that do donate. Um, also, my Amazon wish list is in the description link below as well. Last but not least, join the conversation. I want to hear from you on what you thought about this episode. And what did you guys think about Ms. Natural? Do y'all think Ms. Natural has been off this season? What do y'all think about her behavior on the private jet? Do you think Ms. Natural was in the wrong or was she justified in what she was thinking? And also, what do you guys feel about how she treated Andrea? What do you think about how she treated Andrea? Okay, make sure you leave your comments, join the conversation, and tune in next week for the Johnson's Cabaret in New York after show all that and more only on damien after dark right here we'll see you next time see ya